Muy buenas, youtuberos, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo estáis? Bienvenidos a la parte 14 del Kakarot. Estamos justo aquí, donde lo dejamos con Trunks. Eh, justo después de haber visto ya Célula y todo el rollo. De habernos contado un poco la historia esa del futuro, de no sé qué. Un, bueno, un rollete, ¿no? Y en fin, ahora vamos buscando a los androides y haciendo pues, malabarismos, ¿no? lo, lo que va ocurriendo en esta saga. A ver qué acontece ahora mismo. Vale, sí. Ahora lo que estaban haciendo... Es que no me acordaba, ¿vale? <ríe> Por eso os he dicho lo de... Lo de los malabarismos. Porque no sé... No me acordaba exactamente... En qué punto lo dejé, ¿vale? A lo que van a hacer ahora mismo es... A ir al laboratorio del doctor Guero a ver mmm, pistas, a ver qué es lo que han dejado por ahí por el laboratorio para saber cómo poder destruir a los androides o incluso a ver si hay suerte y se encuentran algo más. Krillin y Trunks revisaron las instalaciones interiores y eh, subterráneas del laboratorio. Después destruyeron el laboratorio entero para impedir que Célula se desarrollase del todo. ¿vale? Ahí estaba... En este punto de la historia estaba el célula de esta línea temporal, pero aún estaba embrión, aún estaba en, la, en, en, una, en una urna de esas, digamos, con líquido formándose, porque aún le faltan más de 20 años para, para desarrollarse del todo, en el punto en el que se desarrolló en la línea temporal del Trunks, que cogió la máquina del tiempo y viajó al pasado, al punto en el que estamos ahora, ¿no? El célula ese que vimos en el capítulo anterior no es el de esta línea temporal. El de esta línea temporal es este que se acaban de cargar ahora mismo. Did it. Right. Now Cell won't be a problem in this timeline. And now we got an ace up our sleeve. Good call saying we should dig around the lab. I didn't think we'd actually be able to find the blueprints for Androids 17 and 18. If we show these to my mother, she should be able to figure out how we can defeat them. True. Actually, would you mind taking this to my mother for me? I have something I need to do. Huh? You're not coming? No. I thought I'd do some training with my father. If he's able to go beyond Super Saiyan, Then I should too with proper training. Well, Vegeta's not exactly a team player. He probably won't want to train with you. You may be right. But sparring with someone leads to greater results in a short amount of time. Even my father should know that. It's worth a shot at least. Right. Sounds like you know what you're doing. Reading you loud and clear. Good luck. Thanks. Then, Trunks sought out his father, Vegeta, while Krillin made his way to Bulma to deliver the blueprints. Impressed and terrified by Dr. Jiro's genius, Bulma searched for the android's weakness. First two, and then three days had passed. Piccolo and the others, using Kame House as their base, continued their hunt for Cell, but to no avail. They could do nothing but watch as news of more victims spread. A monster has made its way to a town in South District 48. Half the residents are gone. Hmm. So he's made his way south. Well, come on! We might still be able to catch him if we leave now. Good luck! 
That cell creep sure is a force to be reckoned with. Oh, did everyone leave? Go on too? Great so. Go on. Please be careful. I hope they're able to find that monster. <sighs> huh? Goku! Hey! Are you feeling better? Yeah, I'm all better now. Oh, thank goodness! Sorry to worry you, Chi-Chi. And you too, Master Roshi. <sighs> We're just glad you're better. By the way, it looks like everyone left. Are they after that cell guy? Uh, yeah. But how did you know about him? I heard everyone talking while I was asleep. I think I got the gist of what's going on. Oh. I think I've got a train, too. You're going to fight? No way! You're in no shape to fight! You need more rest! Relax, guys. I'm not gonna fight anyone just yet. I mean, if Vegeta can't handle him, then there's no way I can. I'm gonna have to train and reach even higher levels. Higher than even Super Saiyan. Uh, a level even higher than Super Saiyan? Chi Chi, I, I want to take Gohan with me when I'm training. Is that okay with you? You're kidding, right? Though I guess there's nothing I can do to stop you if I say no. Fine. If you're going to train him, then make him strong. Thanks, Chi Chi. But once the fight's over, it's straight back to his studies and nothing else, no matter what. And you're going to get a job. You got it. Thank you. All right, time to go. If we approach Cell in this thing, we won't have to worry about him reading our power levels. Don't you think? He's a crafty one. Even if we get close, we're still going to have to flush him out. Goku! Yo! How did you get here? Was it that instant transmission thing? Yep. You're back to 100% then? Yeah. But I'm kind of hungry. Hey, Camicolo! You don't have to combine our names. I'm mostly Piccolo, so just call me Piccolo. I hate to admit it, but I'm not powerful enough right now to take on the androids and that cell guy. But I think I've got an idea. I'm gonna take Gohan somewhere we can get a year's worth of training in one day. That's right. The hyperbolic time chamber, of course. Wait, no one has ever been able to last an entire year in there. Even you could barely last a whole month before. But things are different than before. We'll be fine. And don't forget, we can bring Vegeta and Trunks along with us. They'll be able to handle it for sure. Then get a move on. Cell's killing more and more people, and his power's growing every minute. Right. Goku, let me ask you something. Are you afraid we might be up against someone scarier than Frieza? Or are you happy about that? Both. <laughs> well, I'm glad to see that you're not giving up. There's that. Go on, let's go. We'll grab Vegeta and Trunks on the way. Okay. Where do you think Vegeta and Trunks are training? Let's see. I'm picking up some energy way over there. I'm guessing it might be them. Vamos a ver. Este es el mapa de las artes marciales. Ah, mira qué zona tan chula aquella. So, Dad, this place we're going to train. What's it like? Let's see. The hyperbolic time chamber at Kami's lookout. Rather than tell you what it's like, I'll just show you when we get there. 
Ese sitio si existiera en la vida real molaría que te cagas. Molaría un montón un puto sitio en el que te metes. Y no recuerdo cuál era la, la comparación, pero creo... A lo mejor exagero, pero creo que era un minuto de la vida real. Era una un año, un año en, en esa sala. Creo que esa era la diferencia. Un minuto por un año. O a lo mejor eran 10 minutos por un año. O una hora por un año. No sé. Pero... O un día era un año. ¿Un día era un año? Un día era un año. Sí, creo que era un día. Un día es un año. Pero molaría más que fuera un minuto o un año, tío. Te metes ahí, venga, un añito y... El inconveniente, claro, es que te tiras un año en la puta sala esa, ¿no? Sin hacer nada más que... Pues entrenar, porque otra cosa no pueden hacer. ¿Qué vas a hacer? Leer libros. <risa> otra cosa no puedes hacer. Te haces youtuber, te metes ahí con un ordenador internet y ya está. Goku. So, how's your training going? Not very well. My father's treating me like an obstacle rather than a training partner. He's been like that for three days now. Just standing there. That's Vegeta for you. If I had to guess, I'd say he's probably thinking about how to go beyond Super Saiyan. Don't bother me, Kakarot. Get lost. Oh, come on. Don't be like that. I know a great place to train. It's called the Hyperbolic Time Chamber. You can get a year's worth of training there in just one day. It's up at Kami's lookout. Are you serious? Seriously, come with us. You don't have to train with me or anything if you don't want to. Just so you know, two people can use the room at once. So to save time, you're gonna have to go in with trunks. Fine, but we're going in first. Got it. Sure. No, eso no lo sabía. Eso, eso de que solo pueden entrar dos personas en la en la sala hiperbólica, eso no lo sabía, ¿ves? Tendría que mirarme algún sitio, leerme algún algo, algo en el que me lo di, me, en el que me pueda informar. Let me train with you this time. I promise I won't hold you back. Do whatever you want. Man, you guys really don't get along, do you? En el que eso, en el que me informen acerca de todo lo que ocurre en esa sala, cómo se creó, quién la creó, eh, cómo funciona el mecanismo, no sé, cosas de la mierda esta, ¿no? Para tener un poquito de información al respecto. So, we'd like to train in the hyperbolic time chamber. Is that okay with you? Very well. This way. The room comes equipped with a bath, toilet, bed, and food. Good luck to you. Are you sure you want me to train harder, Kakarot? My end goal is to take you out after all. It's probably going to take more than one of us to take this enemy down. Go forward knowing that, okay? In the future, you may very well regret this. If it's okay, we'll head in first. Good luck, guys! And play nice! It's so hot. It's kind of hard to breathe. And the increased gravity makes it hard to move. And... There's nothing here. It's just empty white space. Good. This is all I need. I... I have to spend a year in here with my father? Hey! You did want to train with me, didn't you? Then let's see what I'm dealing with. Show me what you've got! Huh? 
Right. Bueno, a darnos de hostias. Ah, mira, el juego se adapta. El, el nivel del, del compañero incluso lo adapta también. Como si fuera un enemigo y no como si fuera el personaje que yo he, he estado entrenando. Porque al Trunks lo tengo en nivel 48 y ahí aparecía el nivel 39. Is this really your power? I better not find out you're going easy on me just because I'm your father. No, it's not that. It's just no matter who your opponent is, you come at them as if you intend to kill them, understand? You are a member of the proud warrior race of Saiyans, and on top of that, royal blood runs through your veins, my blood. I I'm not like you, father. <laughs> you coward. You're about to learn that nothing stands in my way. Oh, 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 goody. It looks like I found my next meal. I'm coming for you, Android 1718. Once I gather enough energy from these filthy humans, I will absorb the both of you. <laughs> And then, I will finally become the ultimate life form. <laughs> soon, soon, I will be complete. <laughs> Almost a full day had passed since Vegeta and Trunks had entered the hyperbolic time chamber. The world is gripped with fear as the death toll has now reached several hundreds of thousands. There's no way that we're gonna find him. There's too many places for him to hide, you know? We're running out of time. Cell's powered himself up quite a bit already. Well, we might have to rely on Goku and the others for this. Let's just hope they can go beyond Super Saiyan. Hmm? What? Hey. Cell's fearsome evolution. Damn it. Why did it have to be now? So, is Goku here? He wasn't back at his place. So, we thought he might be hiding here. Just beat it, would you? You're not going to find Goku here. Oh, then tell us where we can find him. Do you honestly think we're just going to tell you? Your choice. You can either tell us, or we can make you. Fine by me. There's a deserted island not too far from here. We'll settle it there. Man, you guys aren't making this easy on yourselves. Sorry. But you're going to stay right here. You'd only be getting in the way. Get! If I can manage to just take one of them out. Vaya, vaya huevazos que tiene el bicolo, eh. De ir a darse de hostias con esos androides el solito. Un segundito. Antes de meterme de lleno en la boca del lobo, voy a mirar a ver si puedo potenciarme algo. Correcto. Algo podía. Ah, y tengo más. Hmm. 
Y podría incluso meterme aquí a conseguir esto, que es super onda explosiva definitiva. Y la onda de ki de fuego rápido también podría conseguirla. Pero... Bueno, voy a continuar para adelante mejor. Por cierto, ¿qué he conseguido? Bueno, ya tengo los cuatro tal. No sé lo que he conseguido. Sí que he leído un... He leído una combinación de ataque más y no sé qué le echen más. Bueno, da igual lo que haya conseguido, la verdad. Vamos a darle un poquito para el pelo a los androides estos. What? Got nothing to say? I'll just have to kill you then. Fine. This isn't going to be as easy as you think. Well, come at me already. What? You're the only one that's going to fight? Of course. Why not? I'm more than enough to handle you. This could work. If I can scrap even just Android 17, Cell won't get his perfect body. Let's go! La verdad que mola mucho más. El... Mola mucho más el picolo así, con el traje así. Sin la capa esa y el gorro ese tan feo que se pone en la cabeza. Uy. Coño, Cap, ¿qué es esto? Eso es una barrera que eh, bloquea todos los ataques, vale. Que te apartes, coño. Yo creo que no, no le gana, eh. O sea... Quiero decir, a ver, Piccolo ahora su intención es matarlo para que Célula no lo pueda absorber. Pero... Que yo creo que no lo mata. No, no me suena que Pico lo mate a ningún androide. Sí sé que el primero en palmar en algún momento es el 17. Y luego, por último, 18. Y ya por ultimísimo, ultimísimo, el 16. Pero Piccolo no. Ah, he calculado mal el pie. Oh, toma. Lo he pillado ahí todo. Ahí. Y subo de nivel, venga. We might be evenly matched in power. But when it comes to stamina, you've lost. I've got infinite energy reserves, after all. Cell! <laughs> Damn it! I was so focused on the fight, I didn't realize he was on his way here. I'm so pleased that this day has finally come. The day I absorb Android 17 and 18 will be the day I achieve my ultimate form! What? You powered yourself up this much? Damn it. Just how many victims have you gone through? Victims? That is such a short-sighted perspective. I prefer to call them donors. They're the ones I have to thank for my power, after all. Get out of here right now! He's going to absorb you, Seventeen! What? Absorb me? What are you talking about? I'll make it simple. That there is Cell. 
a monster that was created by Dr. Giroux's computer, but apparently is incomplete and needs to absorb you and 18 to achieve his final form. What? Rejoice, my fellow androids. Once I have absorbed you, your energy will feed my rise to true perfection. I will finally evolve into what Dr. Giroux spent his life trying to achieve, the ultimate warrior. What are you talking about? You're looking at the ultimate warrior right here. Whether you desire it or not is irrelevant. You will be absorbed all the same. Having trouble shutting that mouth? Here, let me help. No! Get out of here, 17! The enemy's power level far exceeds your own. <laughs> Jeez. You finally start talking. And you're just telling me to run away? Give me a break! Damn it! Uh, you're kidding me! Sil's power level is through the roof! That's it, isn't it? It's over. There's nothing we can do now. Krillin! Bulma's on the phone! Hello, Krillin? I figured it out! I know how to take the androids down! What? Really? Yeah! Androids 17 and 18 are equipped with emergency shutdown circuits. If you can activate those to immobilize them, they'll be sitting ducks! And I've already made a remote control that can do that! Ah, uh, thanks, Bulma! Can you bring that thing here? One step ahead of you. I'm already on my way and I'll be there soon. Awesome, you're the best! I'm going to go help Piccolo. I might not be able to do much, but it's better than doing nothing here. Your nose, Ian! Wait! Come back! There's nothing I can do. I feel so powerless. I sure do miss the days of being the world's greatest martial artist. So this is the remote control, huh? Remember, you need to be within about 10 yards for it to work. And that's not all. I've prepared battle outfits like Vegeta's for everyone. Goku and the guys could use those. They're at Kami's lookout. Could you take them there? Sure thing. Good luck, Krillin. Make sure you blow those androids to pieces. Blow them to pieces? Huh. <laughs> this freak's more powerful than I thought. You bore me. Are we done playing around? Get... Take this! Get out of here, Seventeen! He did that with just one attack? I, I can't believe it. He's just too powerful. There's nothing I can do. It's hopeless. Maybe. Maybe we should try to get out of here while we can. You should leave. I will stay and destroy Cell. Stay behind and destroy Cell? Are you crazy? He'll kill you in an instant! You are good people. You did not harm innocent humans or animals. I have enjoyed our time together. Beast.
So, so Sixteen was hiding this kind of power all along? No! You must leave this place. Hurry! He is still alive! You're joking, right? I'm not just gonna run away without giving that monster his just desserts. If anyone's gonna finish you off, it's me. Come on, show yourself! J Looking for me? Here I am. No! No! Sorry, Chatsu. I might not survive this. You're a fool if you think I'm just going to let you get away. My speed is even more impressive than I thought was possible, and I have Android 17 to thank for it. He wasn't a waste after all. Now, let's check my power, shall we? Don't worry, Android 18. I haven't forgotten about you. It's time to create perfection. Hmm. Neo Tri Beam! Ha! <laughs> what are you doing? Get out of here! now! You're gonna die if you keep firing tri-beams, Tien! Give up before it's too late and get out of there! <laughs> Hang in there, Tien! <laughs> Fools! I will not be stopped by a weak, pathetic fool like Tien! Goku. So you're Cell. Wait! That energy! Piccolo's still alive! I don't know what you're doing here. But I'm not letting you get away! Me ha sorprendido, la verdad. Que los ataques de Shin Han sean capaces siquiera de hacerle un. No, un rasguño. Que sea capaz de. de hacer que el tío se pare. Deja de gritar, pesado.
Mm. Bueno. Golpe meteórico, ráfaga. No tengo una ráfaga. Los ataques que tiene Goku ahora mismo son mierda, eh. O sea, tengo que ver a ver si puedo meterme en el entrenamiento o algo para sacar habilidades nuevas. Porque estas ya las llevo desde el principio de la serie y son un todo odio, tío. O sea, las cosas como son. A ver si me van dando habilidades nuevas ya o algo. Porque, por ejemplo, ahora mismo, el personaje que tengo con habilidades más guapas es el Trunks. Están chulísimas las del Trunks, tío. Au. Y la de Vegeta, el Big Bang Attack, también me mola. reached untouchable levels of power. Nothing can stop him now. Hey! Everyone! Vegeta and Trunks are coming out of the hyperbolic time chamber! Really? Hey, everyone. Sorry for the wait. My father broke through the Super Saiyan barrier in about two months. But he still wouldn't... Trunks, that's enough now. Sounds like you did it, Vegeta. You could say that. You can go in next if you want to, but it would only be a waste of your time. I'm more than enough to clean up this mess. Cell and the androids don't stand a chance. Well, I went down and fought Cell myself. He's super strong now, a real monster. you are. Krillin said you'd all be here. Huh? Wait, what's going on here? Trunks, is that you? Uh, yes. What's with your hair? Are you wearing a wig or something? There's... There's this room here where one year passes inside while just one day passes out here. Father and I were training in there. Oh. What the hell are you doing here, Bulma? Here. Vegeta's battle suit has great defensive properties. So, I made some for everyone. Whoa! This stuff's a lot lighter than it looks. Did you not hear me, Kakarot? Your services aren't required. Because you're gonna beat Cell, right? I heard ya. That's fine by me. 
All right, Gohan. Time for some quality father-son training. Right. Be warned. Training in the chambers, no cakewalk, Gohan. Training to surpass Super Saiyan. Wow, it's nothing but white space. My body feels heavy. And it's so hot, I can barely breathe. That's not all. This place is as big as the Earth itself. Get lost out there and you're a goner. Be careful. So, we're gonna spend a year in here? Let's get right into it. After all, it's not like we're here on vacation. First things first. We're gonna make you a Super Saiyan! Me? A, a Super Saiyan? I don't know if I have what it takes! Of course you do! Don't forget that you got Saiyan blood running through your whole body! All that said, any real type of training we need to do isn't gonna happen until you're a Super Saiyan. Aren't I just gonna waste your time and, and get in your way? Well, yeah, at first. But don't get me wrong, I'm planning on going completely beyond Super Saiyan when the time is right. I've got plans for you too. I want you to get even stronger than that. I know you can do it. What? Me? Stronger than you? Yep. If anyone can do that, it's you. Man, I... I hope I can. <laughs> Relax! It's gonna take some time, so no rush. We'll take it nice and slow at first. Now that's enough talking. Let's get warmed up. Bueno, ya en breve vamos a dejar de lado al. Que bueno, de hecho creo que ya está en esa fase. En la que ya no es el Gohan pequeño, sino que ya es joven, digamos, entre comillas. Es así como se le denominaba en los Tenkaichis y tal. Gohan pequeño, Gohan joven y Gohan grande. Y ya está en esa fase. Fase es que, bueno, aún se tiene que cortar el pelajo este de mierda que lleva. Y aprender Kamehames y... Y... Creo... No estoy seguro, pero creo que el... El patrón de ataques que tiene este no lo cambia. Y eso es una decepción que me lleve... Porque... La forma en la que luchaba en la serie... El Gohan que se hace Super Saiyan 2 era muy, muy característica. Que eso en el Tenkaichi sí que lo reflejaban bien. Cada, cada personaje tenía sus movimientos especiales y tal. Y aquí no. Aquí los golpes que está pegando este los sigue pegando siempre igual. It's really hard to fight in a place like this. It is. But your techniques and movements are pretty great. I'm betting you've got Piccolo to thank for all that. <laughs> Guess that means we can move straight on to Super Saiyan training. What do you say? Yeah! Ah! Ah! No, no, no. 
All you're doing is raising your energy. That's not enough. You need to get angry to become a Super Saiyan. Get angry! Let out all your rage! I'm... I'm trying. I can't get angry, though. It's not gonna come to you right away, and that's okay. Me and Vegeta had to go through a lot before we got it. There's no need to rush, Gohan. Right. All right, time to go. I'm coming too. Very well. Hot. El el Trunks en este momento de la historia me mola que te cagas. Porque está el hijo de puta, míralo. Míralo cómo está el puto loco. <risa> está mazadísimo el pavo. Y creo, también es una decepción que me lleve de este juego, creo, a lo mejor me equivoco, ¿vale? Pero mmm, recuerdo algo así, que no se puede transformar en el pelo erizo. A placer, creo. Porque si hubiera podido yo creo que lo recordaría. Y habría dicho, oh, me lo he gozado que flipas, no sé qué... Porque me mola mucho a mí el, la fase esa de las transformaciones y en concreto pues el Trunks este. Ellos ahora mismo están en fase Super Saiyan nivel 1, ¿vale? Pero en este momento de la historia tienen como un poco más de poder. Es un Super Saiyan potenciado. En los Tenkaichi lo llamaban... Vegeta Supremo o Superior o algo así. Pero sigue siendo Super Saiyan 1. O sea, no... Luego llega Gohan Super Saiyan 2 y se los folla a estos. Porque esto lo único que han hecho ha sido aumentar su, su poder. Y en concreto el Trunks se le ha ido a la puta olla y el tío está mazadísimo y ha aumentado tanto su peso que... Es muy fuerte, pero es muy lento. Que esa es la, 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 la forma esa que tiene de... Del pelo pincho que digo. Que bueno, que a mí me mola un mogollón, pero bueno. Eh, 10% de cantidad de recuperar con los objetos... Superior, vale. Así que bueno, ya veremos. Ya veremos cómo... Va la, la cosa. Voy a mirar cuánto llevo, que no sé cuánto llevo. 49. Voy a avanzar un pelín más, nada más. Y... Y lo iremos dejando ya por aquí. En esta parte, bueno, han pasado bastante cosillas, ¿eh? Ha pasado lo de Piccolo contra el célula. Ha pasado lo de los androides. El célula ha absorbido al otro. Los pavos estos han entrenado en la sala del tiempo. O sea, han pasado cositas en este capítulo, ¿eh? No está nada mal a nivel de contenido. Pero lo mejor está aún por llegar. Eso lo tengo también más clarinete que el agua. A ver, celulitis, ¿dónde estás? I don't see 18 anywhere. She's got to be hiding somewhere on one of these islands. Very well. Listen up, 18. You better make your presence known. If you don't, I'm going to start destroying these islands one at a time until I find you. So she won't come out. She's not making this easy. You... you're Vegeta! So you're Cell. Uh, that's... Uh, 
Vegeta! And what is it that you think you're doing here? Don't tell me you think you can stop me! I didn't come here to stop you. I came here to tear you limb from limb! Tear me limb from limb, you? <laughs> That's hilarious! Oh, but I'm getting so tired of hearing you talk. <laughs> Take a good long look, Cell. I'm going to beat that stupid grin right off that annoying face of yours. Ahí está, el tío tomazadísimo que se ha puesto. <ríe> Esto mola un huevo, tío. Creo que ya tengo la imagen para la miniatura del, del vídeo. El vegetal está aquí, todo. Madre mía. Más reventado imposible el tío. Va de esteroides hasta arriba. Lo único que es una pena que eh, siguiendo la historia más adelante, bueno, por ejemplo, cuando Gohan crezca, bueno, hostia, ahora, ahora os lo contaré esto. Ahora os contaré lo que, lo que quiero decir. Pero que es una pena porque no vamos a poder tener durante todo el juego al Vegeta así, de, de chetado y con este traje. <risa> Looks like I'm a little too much for you to handle now, aren't I? <laughs> How is this happening? You're Vegeta, right? I mean, Vegeta? Wrong. I am Super Vegeta! Oh, that power level is huge! Uh, amazing! So that's the new and improved Vegeta, huh? So, is Trunks that strong too? I don't see Goku or Gohan anywhere. Uh, it's the androids. They were here the whole time? Cell, Vegeta, Trunks, they don't know they're here, do they? Uh, I've got to be within 10 yards of them for the remote control to work. Uh, here goes nothing. You've used up all your power, and still you couldn't muster the strength to fight me. Very disappointing. Oh, this can't be... This can't be happening! If, if I could only gain the energy I need to fight you with my perfect body! What's that? You actually think getting that perfect body of yours would be enough to defeat me? <laughs> of course! I wouldn't lose to the likes of you! Okay. Uh, now, I should be within 10 yards of them. Uh, I gotta make sure I shut 18 down, then destroy her. Otherwise, Cell's going to absorb her. Uh, this is my only shot. Better make it count. See ya. He shut down remote control. Why does he have that? Uh, sorry, Bulba. Huh? Go on, get out of here while you still can. Avoid Cell and live your life. Why did you... Why did you destroy that? That was your only chance. It's... Uh... <sighs> 
If I could achieve my perfect form. Power, speed, technique, intelligence. I would be perfect in every way. The computer told me as much. Is this true? Could achieving this perfect form of yours actually close the gap between us? How many times are you gonna make me repeat myself? You, you would have no hope of defeating me, at least not as you are right now. Hmm. Father, don't tell me you're... You say and say your warriors through and through. I would think you'd want to at least test your mettle against my perfect form. Fine, I'll fall for your little ruse. Go ahead and get this perfect form you've been babbling on about. Go on! Father! <laughs> My father may be willing to let you go, but I'm not! Hey, Vegeta! Do something about this guy, would ya? Huh? It's 18. So she was hiding there the whole time. Huh? Cell knows where you are! No! You're not going anywhere! Don't even think about it, Trunks! What? You! <laughs> I'm so close to perfection I can taste it! Father, what you're doing is wrong! We can't let him absorb 18! <laughs> Where's your sense of pride? Don't you want to see how much stronger he can get? No. I've seen enough bloodshed and destruction in my future! Four flowers! Ah! 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 <laughs> my eyes! No! Stop! Eighteen! No! We're finally going to see this perfection of his. It better not disappoint, that's for sure. No! He's... So there it is. Cell had finally absorbed Android 18 and achieved his perfect form. In a fit of rage, Krillin launched himself at Cell, but was effortlessly sidelined by Cell's newfound strength. Krillin, having been brought back from the brink of death thanks to a Senzu bean from Trunks, was overwhelmed by the power of Cell's perfect form. Vegeta, excited by the prospect of fighting a more worthy opponent, taunted Cell into continuing their fight. Cell calmly accepted Vegeta's challenge and prepared to engage him in battle once more. Achieving Perfection <laughs> Would you care to take part in a little warm-up? Sure! A warm-up you won't survive! We'll see about that. Creo que se acaba de saltar toda la parte en la que... En la que Trunks se transforma en gordo y tal. 
el, el momento es en el que Vegeta le ha pegado la patada a Trunks y ha dicho No, no, aparta, no sé qué, me parece que eso no ocurre en la serie de verdad Me parece, eh, no, no sé Pero me parece que eso no ocurre Y que Trunks ahí sí se, sí se pelea con... Con Célula en su, en su segunda forma Pero... El Trunks se cansa muy rápido Es que lo que estoy diciendo ahora mismo a lo mejor ocurre aún, ¿eh? A lo mejor viene esa parte viene después de este combate. No lo sé. Pero mmm, yo creo recordar que lo del Trunks ese se pelea con el Célula en segunda forma, no en la forma perfecta. Au. Au. Ahora veremos qué ocurre. Well, now look at this. Hmm, that's so odd. It appears this gap between us you mentioned is moving in the opposite direction now. Why would that be? <laughs> Whatever. I think it's about time to kill you. What are you doing, Trunks? If you don't get in there, Vegeta's gonna die! My father would rather be defeated by Cell than have me, Goku, or anyone help him. He's that proud of a warrior. Hey, I, I get that, but still! If my father loses consciousness while fighting Cell, I'll step in. <laughs> Impressive. It looks like you're still holding on to what little life you got left. Allow me to put you out of your misery, Vegeta. Trunks. I'm gonna kill you, Cell. Quite a gutsy thing to say, Trunks. Krillin, take my father and get him out of here. Right, you got it. Trunks power level it's taken a massive dive Cell's power level is through the roof Did he overpower Trunks? Not good Vegeta come on Vegeta wake up But I'm rather disappointed in you and Vegeta I expected more from you two I mean, don't tell me this has been a waste of my time. Now, just one last question. It's interesting. Although it ultimately proved meaningless, you were able to greatly increase your power in a very short period of time. If you had more time, would you be able to power up even further? It's hard to say without actually trying. Why would you ask me something like that? <laughs> so it is a possibility. Next question. Why hasn't Goku shown his face yet? I mean, what could he possibly be doing that's more important than this? Goku is training to take you down. No matter what you do, he'll be ready to fight you tomorrow. If you're looking for a real challenge, and it sounds like you are, then Goku won't disappoint. Trust me. Glad to hear it. Then maybe I'll hold a little tournament. A... a tournament? Let's make it... Mm, ten days from now. Say, twelve o'clock? That should give you time to better your skills, if that's possible. What are you talking about? 
I don't know if you're aware of this or not, but there used to be a martial arts tournament known as the World Tournament. I think it's high time we brought that back. One small change, in this tournament I'll be the only opponent. I'll fight you one victim at a time, and if I win, the next challenger enters the arena and fights me, and then the next, and the next, until I'm the last one standing. I'll spread the word of the tournament, its rules, and its location soon. Perhaps we can even have the whole thing televised. <laughs> what fun. Uh, wait, Cell! What's the point of holding a tournament? What's your end goal? The tournament will showcase my strength and true greatness, and plunging the world into terror will be a nice little bonus as well. And my end game is... I don't have one. I mean, maybe to have a little fun toying with you halfwits, destroying, tormenting, lording over you. But my real passion, of course, is to see the look on people's faces as they cower and realize that all hope is lost. Ah. <laughs> I can't wait to see what you can do. After reviving Vegeta and Krillin with some Senzu beans, Trunks told them about the tournament Cell was planning to hold. Uh, a tournament? He's just toying with us! Damn him! I... I plan on entering the hyperbolic time chamber again, once Goku and Gohan are out. You and Kakarot will only get in the way! I will be the one to enter that room and finish this! Uh -huh. I... I too will enter the tournament. Please. Take me to the Capsule Corporation and have me repaired. I will prove useful. Are you crazy? You're one of Dr. Giro's androids! Okay. I'll take you. Truth be told, we could use as many allies as we can get. Krillin! Relax, Trunks. I have a feeling this guy's not so bad after all. I mean, the two other androids Cell absorbed didn't seem that bad either. You said it yourself. These androids and history itself are different from what you know. Gohan, you've gotten so much stronger than I thought you would. It's pretty impressive. I hope so. It's hard to tell, though. But I gotta say, you haven't come close to reaching your full potential yet. You've got a lot more in you. I just know it. Really? What do you say? Think it's time to finish up our training? Finish it? Yep. Come at me with everything you've got. Don't hold back. Try your best to take your old man down, huh? Well, I can't do that. But I'll do what I can. Y ahora sí, este es el Gohan que yo quería ver. Ya no llevamos al Gohan niño, pequeño. Este es el Gohan guay, que a mí me gusta, ver. Y sí que cambia los movimientos. Yo quería recordar que no, pero sí. Sí que cambia los movimientos de golpe, sí. Ah, y por cierto, lo que os he dicho. En el juego este han cambiado un poquito la historia esa de las peleas de Vegeta de Trunks. Porque el combate de Trunks no lo hemos hecho. Y no hemos visto al Trunks que lo pinche. Pero ahí está un Trunks que es más fuerte todavía que el Vegeta. 
es mucho más fuerte que Vegeta. Lo que pasa es que no controla bien y chupa la energía muy rápido. Entonces, se cansa muy rápido cuando pega contra el célula y, y al final pierde la energía y, y pierde el estado Super Saiyan. Y entonces el otro pues ya le puede ganar. Pero sí, una decepción muy gorda que no hayan puesto al Trunks pelo pincho en ese momento, la verdad. A mí me habría gustado mucho manejarlo y, y simplemente verlo. Pero bueno. Gohan. That was incredible. Don't ever forget what that felt like. Right. Uh, but, Dad, we're probably going to need more time before we go beyond Super Saiyan, don't you think? I mean, come on. I just learned how to become one. So I have no clue what I would even do to go further than that. I think I just might know what to do about that. Huh? We just need to get our bodies used to staying in the Super Saiyan form. What do you say? Think the two of us can manage that, Gohan? Staying in the Super Saiyan form? Yep. We treat Super Saiyan as our normal state of being. Do you understand? Anytime we're awake and moving around, That's the form we'll be in. First, we'll learn to control the more emotional aspects of the transformation. That makes the most sense, right? Then, once we do that, we'll start our training up again from the basics. This could work out. I know it's not exactly straightforward, but I really think this is our best shot at going beyond Super Saiyan. Uh, uh, okay. After informing Trunks of the tournament, Cell constructed an arena in a nearby deserted area. He then forced his way into a TV station and, via live broadcast, delivered his terrifying message to the entire world. His tournament, known as the Cell Games, would be open to all and begin in just nine days. Cell then declared that if all participants were to fail, he would eliminate all known life on the planet. In order to prove that he meant business about his threat, he easily reduced a section of the city to rubble. Cell's ultimatum proved effective in its purpose, as the world had become utterly gripped in fear. Recent peace had weakened army and police forces, now powerless to confront the new enemy. People had already seemed to have forgotten about the young boy who had stopped the evil demon King Piccolo. They were also unaware of Vegeta, the Saiyans, and the others that fought Frieza on Namek. Goku was no more than a long-forgotten memory. Damn that Cell! This is just a game to him? No way! I can't believe he actually went on television and told everyone! If none of us can beat him, he's going to kill everyone on Earth! And now the whole world is panicking. I hope Goku and Gohan are almost done with their training. There are still three hours left before the full day is up. <laughs> no guarantee they'll come out after exactly one day. No need to rush. We've got nine days until the games. Huh? That's Goku and Gohan's energy. Are they out already? What? What are they... What are they doing out this early? What? Vegeta and Trunks? You guys are here too? Cell must still be alive. 
What happened? I can still sense his energy. Huh? That's Gohan. He looks so different. What? They're... They're still Super Saiyan? Wait. Something is different. They seem... calm. Someone get us up to speed on what's going on. Uh, right. Here's what happened. The Cell Games, huh? So, he's holding a tournament. Honestly, that sounds kind of fun. Mr. Popo! You still got my uniform? Oh, yes. I have it right here. Mr. Piccolo? I'd like some new clothes, too. Like yours. Sure thing. You're gonna look real good in this. Yay! <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Piccolo. So, tell me, think you have what it takes to beat Cell? Not sure. I haven't had the pleasure of meeting him in this perfect form of his yet. Actually, I'll go do that now. Hmm. There we go. Oh, it's Goku. Yep, in the flesh. So what do you think, Goku? Are you willing to let the fate of your world be decided in this ring? Kinda small for something like that, wouldn't you say? <laughs> so that's your perfect form. Yes, yes indeed. You can count on me being here for the tournament. But until then, don't go killing anybody. Not one person, got it? We're gonna have a great match. Man, he's gotten way stronger than I thought he would. So, Goku, what do you think? I'll be completely honest. I didn't think he'd power up as much as he did. Okay, so... I won't know for sure until I fight him, but... I'm probably not gonna be strong enough to beat him. Uh, no way! Then just go back into the hyperbolic time chamber. We've got the time. Nah, me and Gohan will train outside. We got nine days. We'll figure something out within that time. But why? You still haven't used up a full day. Why in the world would you waste one of the two days of your life you're allowed inside that chamber? Because that place can really put your body through the ringer, if you know what I mean. We could use some quality rest right now. Well, well, look at that. Even the mighty Kakarot wasn't nearly tough enough to handle the room. Fine. You might be right about that, but training there anymore wouldn't do us any good. But don't let me stop you. If you guys want to head back inside, go right on ahead. Besides, it looks like you could use some more training. What? You have some nerve. You don't actually think you're stronger than me now, do you? Don't make me laugh! Yeah, a lot stronger, actually. What? All right. Keep at it, you guys. See you all at the tournament, okay? Gohan, let's go. Oh, right. Only nine days remained until the Cell Games tournament. Goku, 
and Gohan returned home for some well-earned rest after their intense training. Here's the plan. We'll rest for three days, train for three days, and then rest another three. How does all that sound? Dad, uh, are you sure that's okay? You think we can beat Cell? Trust me, we'll be fine. Goku, I need you to come back to the house. Huh? Chi-Chi? Por fin. Gracias, Chichi. Por fin haces algo útil. E interrumpes esta maldita e insufrible sucesión de cinemáticas que no me dejan parar. <risa> Voy a mirar cuánto llevo grabando. Que va a ser una barbaridad porque hace un montón de rato eh, llevaba 50 minutos y había dicho eh, dentro de poco voy a parar ya y ya pasa un huevo de rato. A ver, llevo una hora y 20, me cago en la puta. Eh, lo dejamos aquí, youtuberos. Nos vemos en el siguiente capítulo. Cuidaros. <ríe> Chao.